because uh, when I, I auditioned for the job, didn't know it was Anakin, didn't know it was the Clone Wars. Uh, they didn't tell us anything. They're so secret. Um, and I uh, went and had a, a voiceover. You know, I was in the booth. Dave was there. I was like, just what do you think, like Han Solo? Do you know who that is? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> uh, just do something like that, and you know, like a mix of like, look. Uh, and so I did, and, and that was it. And they called me a few days later and said, "You're Anakin. It's a series. It's called Clone Wars. Um, like, welcome to the family." And then. <laughs> I was flown up to Skywalker Ranch, and uh, they took me over to the George's office, and I sat down and was a Anakin. And uh, I'm saying that because had I been a huge fan, I wouldn't have been able to speak. <laughs> <laughs> but at, at the time, I, I had seen Star Wars like everyone else, but I wasn't like a leader of like I am now. So, you know, so I was able to have a conversation with him. Yeah, it was great. It was awesome. How about you? I was like, so, I thought I was a big fan, until I met Dave Loney. <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized I had a lot to learn. Um, but no, I, I was a big fan, and so, you know, I knew when I was auditioning. Well, I didn't, I didn't know that I was auditioning with Clone Wars. We just knew that it was a new animated Star Wars project. Um, and I didn't even know that I was auditioning for the role of So Katana. I just knew that it was a new character that was going to be a 14 year old girl. That's, that's literally all I knew. Um, but I wanted it so bad. And um, unfortunately, uh, Dave Filoni wanted Ahsoka to have an Icelandic accent in the beginning. Um, she would be completely different, I feel like, with an Icelandic accent, right? Um, so in my audition, he had me say stuff in Icelandic, and I know he wanted to tell me to do Icelandic, which I can't to this day. Um, but do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> but you know, my first audition, I literally just bombed it. Like it was so bad. And I, I walked out and I'm like, I got no shot at this. And I was crushed because I wanted it. And then about a month later, I got a call that I got a call back. And I mean, I'm literally baffled. I'm like, how the heck did I get a call back for this? So they said, we really want her to practice rice landing. So, <laughs> I mean, I know. So I went to this, I actually hired the top dialect coach in LA, where he trains like all like the film actors and everything. So I went to him, and um, literally for like a week straight, I practiced ice landing, and I mastered it. However, um, he taught me pure ice landing. And uh, Dave Filoni wanted something different. So I go into my audition, and I'm so proud now, like, or into this callback, that I can do my slander. And I say the first line, and Dave Filoni stops me. And he's like, no, can you do something that sounds a bit more Icelandic? And I, I know, I know. And I would normally never do that. I would never talk back to the director. But I did something I would never do. They raised my hand, and I was like, I'm sorry, but I am doing this thing. I don't know what you want. That got me part. <laughs> <laughs> choice to take Anakin in a new direction. Anakin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that. <laughs> yeah, so actually when I had that conversation with George, he kind of told me some of the characteristics that they wanted this Anakin to have. And it's just much different than what we saw. You know, I mean, now in the Clone Wars, we get to see the hero that we always kind of heard about um, as fans, but we get to see. So, 
I didn't have that pressure, and, and that pressure was never put on me in any way to even sound like Aiden at all. Um, so I was just doing my own thing. 